let us have the statement of this particular problem so the problem statement is given as determine which of the following correspond to a valid autocorrelation sequence for a wss random process for those that are not valid state why not and for those that are valid describe a way for generating a process with the given autocorrelation here we have been provided with a to f the autocorrelation sequences very first of all for a we have r sub x x of k in terms of del of k minus 1 added to del of k plus 1 b is r x of k in terms of 3 times del of k added to twice del of k minus 1 further added to twice del of k plus 1 part c is r x of k is equal to the exponential of we have j into k pi divided by 4 whereas the next part the fourth one what we call part d is having the autocorrelation sequence r x of k is equal to opting the two values it is opting 1 when mod k is less than n and it is opting 0 elsewhere next to that in the fifth case we have rx of k again opting the two values for mod k less than 1 the autocorrelation sequence is defined by capital n minus mod k divided by capital n elsewhere it is equal to 0 and lastly for part f we have rx of k is equal to 2 to the power minus k square so this completes our problem statement so to this particular problem statement we get back to whatever the given information here we have so here we have been asked to first of all judge find whether the autocorrelation sequence given to us is a valid or not corresponding to a WSS random process so WSS stands for a wide sense stationary process that we have already dealt while learning this particular chapter now the reason can be either yes or no so if the answer is no here so when it is not valid we have to also explain the reason behind the same and if the answer is yes the given autocorrelation sequence is a valid one we have to further extend this particular answer while describing a way for generalizing for generating a random process from it so a generation of the random process by the use of given autocorrelation sequence here so one by one we are going to have a b c d e and f here so let us start for part a here so in the part a we have been provided rx of k is equal to the two terms have been added del of k minus 1 with the addition to del of k plus 1 so to look at this particular representation of the autocorrelation sequence the condition that is very important for this autocorrelation sequence to be a valid autocorrelation sequence for WSS random process is that if we get that rx of 0 greater than or equal to the mod of rx of 1 rx being the autocorrelation sequence so values of k can be substituted in such a way there so we don't get the given autocorrelation sequence satisfying this condition therefore the conclusion here we can draw that the given autocorrelation sequence in part a is a not valid here so this is what the condition we have applied here rx of 0 we don't obtain to be greater than or equal to the mod of rx of 1 so as this condition is not satisfied this is our conclusion that it is not valid now after part a we have part b where the autocorrelation sequence represented rx of k is in the three terms added to each other the first one is thrice del of k added to the second twice of del of k minus 1 added to the third twice of del k plus 1 along with the condition that we have seen into the first one there is another condition associated with the power spectrum so power spectrum as we know k 
can be obtained from the given autocorrelation sequence by having its Fourier transformation. So we always expect for the autocorrelation sequence to be a valid autocorrelation sequence for the WSS random process, its power spectrum should be a non-negative. So it must be a positive here. So let us check for the part B whether it is non-negative or not. So we obtain it to be not satisfying the condition. Hence, we conclude it to be not valid autocorrelation sequence for the given WSS process. So the calculation of or the computation of the power spectrum, what we call the power spectral density, here it is represented Px as a function of e to the power j omega. So upon having the power Fourier transformation, we obtain 3 added to twice of e to the power j omega, which is equal to we have 3 added to 4 times cosine of omega here. So therefore, we get to the conclusion that this is not a valid autocorrelation sequence as required in this problem statement. Now after part B we have part C where the autocorrelation sequence Rx of k is provided as the exponential of j into k pi by 4 here. So for this autocorrelation sequence as we find the representation of a harmonic process here. So corresponding the autocorrelation sequence to be a harmonic the random variable in general if you take to be a pi is uniformly distributed into the range minus pi to pi so therefore it will be a valid one so this is our conclusion and in this particular problem statement it is also asked if it is a valid autocorrelation sequence so what way we can have a generation of random process by the use of this autocorrelation sequence. The random process can be generated and it can be shown by x of n. So here x of n for the given autocorrelation sequence can be e to the power j in the bracket n pi by 4 added with pi here where pi will be the phase parameter here and which is of course of the a random nature rest of the things are constants here pi is a constant n will be a discrete time a constant value here so this way out of the six parts we are done with finding the solutions for the three here the first two there were not valid autocorrelation sequences and this is the first one in the part c we have obtained to be a valid autocorrelation sequence for the condition of wide sense stationary a random process here now moving further we can go for the part d here in the part d the autocorrelation sequence rx of k is having the two values if mod k is less than n here so it is one and elsewhere it is equal to zero here now with this particular case if we have the computation of the power spectrum by carrying out the Fourier transformation we again obtain it to be not satisfying the non-negativity condition. Therefore, we conclude that for part D, the autocorrelation sequence is not a valid autocorrelation sequence. The computation of the power spectral density can be given by this formulation. So in this formulation, we represent the power spectral density Px as a function of e to the power j omega and it can be found to be a ratio of sin capital N minus 1 by 2 which can be further multiplied to the omega here so sin N omega in general what we represent for the angle part here which is divided by sin of omega by 2 here so now this is not valid autocorrelation sequence for part D here now for the next part that is part E we have the autocorrelation sequence again opting the two values here so Rx of k is equal to capital N minus mod k by capital N for the condition mod k less than N elsewhere it is opting the zero value. So to look at the autocorrelation sequence we find a symmetry condition here and of course when determined the discrete time Fourier transformation 
of this particular autocorrelation sequence to obtain the power spectral density it comes to be a non negative therefore it is a positive here so both the conditions are satisfied hence we can conclude that for part e the given autocorrelation sequence is a valid autocorrelation sequence for the wss type of the random process here now the next part of the question is when it is a valid case so what way we can have the generation of the random process so for generation of random process using this autocorrelation sequence we can have filtering by the unit variance white noise with the fir filter where the unit sample response can be expressed by the function h of n holding the value 1 when small n is within the range 0 to n here we have mentioned 0 less than or equal to n which is further less than capital n elsewhere we have the value of this unit sample response to be equal to 0 here so out of the six parts we have been finished with the determination of whether valid or not for the five cases here now the last one can be addressed here where we have the autocorrelation sequence represented 2 to the power minus k square here now the representation of the same can also be with the help of logarithmic case here as we have 2 to the power the base 2 here if we remove we can represent it in another way also now to look at the determination of discrete time fourier transformation for the given autocorrelation sequence we come to find it to be of the aliased gaussian type and for the gaussian nature we always do that we have all the positive values for the all the range of the angular frequency omega so therefore we can have the conclusion that the non negative power spectrum is possible to be obtained for the given autocorrelation sequence and also the given autocorrelation sequence is symmetric therefore this is valid for the condition of wide sense stationary random process now next part is to how a generation of random process can be there by the use of this autocorrelation sequence so here we can opt the process which can have the filtering with the help of white noise along with a linear shift invariant system that has the gaussian shift unit sample response so this way out of the six autocorrelation sequences we have found that the part c part e and part f autocorrelation sequences are the valid autocorrelation sequences for the case of wide sense stationary random processes and rest of the three for part a part b and part d are not valid so whatever the conditions those we have used here for this validation purpose are important points to be remembered while learning this probability theory associated to the random processes here